Okay guys, this is very exciting news. Just today, Kwaishu announced another open source AI video model. This is called Pyramidal Flow Matching for Efficient Video Generative Modeling. In short terms, it's called Pyramid Flow. On their GitHub page, as you can see here, the short term for the name is also called Pyramid Flow. So right now we're just using this name instead of the long name. So what is this? It's an open source AI video generation model that's using the transformer architecture again. In short terms, this is the DIT. It's very similar to Sora. It generates objects that become more coherent and consistent in style for all the characters and objects in the videos. Now, as we've played around with Pika AI, Runway Gen 3, and all kinds of AI video generators out there, this one is available to download on Hugging Face, and it's trending right now just a few hours after launching. You can see it's on the trend of the models. So, on this Hugging Face page for Pyramid Flow, they're saying that it's based on the Stable Diffusion 3 medium model to fine-tune. They've also used other open-source training data to gather and create the data set for training this AI video model. Now, these models are going to require a lot of memory and machines. As you can see, they're capable of generating high-quality 10-second videos. That's at 760p resolution with 24 FPS, and that's going to be something like this one. So this is the result of 10 seconds generated at 700p resolution. And this is pretty good, pretty nice, and the lower size of that which is five seconds, as I can show here. Now, as you can see, this is a very similar style of characters that you saw in Sora, you know, the red hat guy in the desert. Maybe they're using the same prompt to generate these videos. But their examples here are very much like Sora. Or a few months ago, we saw Runway Gen 3. And right now, they have the Gen 3 Turbo, which is a lower-end version of the AI video model from Runway, which is something like that, achievable with similar quality. Right now, using open-source AI video models. And look at this one, the barbecue and some campfire, as I'm showing here. This is really nice, like within an open-source model, as we've seen previously in CogVideo X5B and X2B. They can even generate you know, clear objects sometimes with this kind of quality. And I like that these models demonstrate a lot of landscapes, for example, uh, like this one with the church from a drone overview, and they're able to create very coherent results. And objects are, you know, all the buildings are very stable in one form of objects without any broken parts. But when you look at the road here, the people are, of course, showing some deformations. But when you compare with, you know, like Pika AI 1.0, those kinds of AI models have that as well. So if you want to compare this with AI models that, you know, are private models, paid versions, they're having similar quality. And I see this AI model is pretty promising for the open source space. And right here we see this tsunami short clip. This is pretty nice with the water flowing and things on the side here as well. You know, everything here is way beyond what we saw in the previous open source AI video models. And I like this one as well. The examples are here. This is like Tokyo Street in the winter. As you know, before we saw the Sora demos, they had a similar winter Tokyo Street. And this one is also creating something like that. But of course, it's not with the same video style. But we can see that it's able to create very stable, coherent AI video results. And all the buildings here don't have much deformation. But of course, if you look closely, there is something that's not staying still, especially on the lights and the street lights on top here. But then, when I've had experience with Pika AI and Runway Gen 3, those models also generated similar quality. If you rate it 4 out of 10, maybe it's acceptably good. But you know, mostly they generate some kind of quality like this. So I think this is very great news for people who want to use open source stuff and do Phoebe's. However, these models require a lot of memory, and the hardware configurations are quite demanding. As I can see, they're using 20K hours using NVIDIA A100 for that. It's amazing that training small size models with only one A100 GPU 20,000 hours produces such nice results already. The funny thing is that these models were created by Kwaishu Technologies in collaboration with Beijing universities. It's kind of ironic that Kwaishu, the company behind Kling AI, which previously released private model, is now involved in open source projects. Maybe they want to experiment with how they can do the same thing using open source resources to create similar AI video models. Who knows their strategy? But that's something we can follow up on and look into with these models.
Technically, these models have a research paper here. What differentiates them from other image or video generation models is that they have two key techniques applied. One is the spatial pyramid, which they're applying in this pyramid flow to handle image generation, unsampling the noise, and then re-noising those image frames into videos. The other is the temporal pyramid technique that they're using to generate videos as a novel video generative modeling algorithm. Both techniques are applied with this method of doing transformations, and of course, they're based on the diffusion transformer architecture. As I mentioned before, transformer architecture consumes a lot of memory to run. It might be that one day we won't be able to handle it in local PC configurations. To run such models, if they keep growing the parameter size and AI model size that we can't handle on a local PC, that's bad news. But right here, we've got some code showing on the Hugging Face page that we can play around with. If you know how to code in Python or have basic coding knowledge, it's okay to run this kind of script. They have a notebook for running this, so you don't have to copy and paste all this code. All you need to do is go to their GitHub project and find the video generation demo notebook file. Everything for running these video models will be available there. Of course, they have text-to-video and image-to-video features included in these models. For people who don't have the knowledge or skill set to understand programming language, don't worry, we have the Pyramid Flow Hugging Face demo page. I'll link this in the description below. We can try this out and as you can see, it's pretty easy to handle. All you have is the image to video panel to upload your image or just use a text prompt here. The advanced settings don't actually do much. There are just two options, the guidance scale and the video guidance scale. If you lower these, it will produce something different. You can try these two guidance settings and run some images with this. Let's try some image to video examples. First, let's do a landscape. I'm choosing this one. Instead of a realistic image, I'm using a kind of oil paint art image with a landscape of France. Hopefully that looks cool. Let's try to prompt something here. We'll say, in Paris, water flow and nighttime fireworks in the sky. It's a very basic prompt, as they don't even provide a big text box for you to enter a text prompt and we're loading the GPU available for us. Hopefully, some results will appear. I believe this Hugging Face demo page will be very busy in the next couple of days, so be patient if it doesn't work for you. Sometimes you've got to refresh this or duplicate this space into your own Hugging Face account and get your own private GPU to run this. That's another option. Okay, so we got the result here. First of all, it's a four second result. Let's check it out. We got a little bit of creativity for the fireworks in the sky, but it doesn't really show what's going on there. But we can see some transitions in the water sign at the bottom, and the sunlight is in different directions, which causes the bridge to have some different shadows. It looks like a time-lapse effect from these short clips. But generally, this is how it performs for anime styles, or paint art, or watercolor art styles for image to video. So let's try another one. It's going to be an anime style, and we can't process that. Even when I switch to another space for this demo, it's over the limit. Maybe too many people are trying this right now. So maybe I'll have to try downloading this locally and running it on my private server to see if that works. So far, this AI model is pretty impressive as an open source model with a very small parameter size, only 2 billion parameters with this kind of quality. Right here, as you can see, talking about quality, there's some benchmarking. So ours, which is the Pyramid Flow, has an overall score of 8, 1.72, which is very close to Kling AI. I'm not sure if this is Kling AI 1.0 or 1.5. They haven't been specific about that. But the Runway Gen 3 Alpha has a score of 82, which is a little bit higher than what we see in other AI models for the overall total score. But we can't just look at the total score. Sometimes we have to look at things like motion smoothness and dynamic degree. You know, Cloth Video X, of course, has very high motion smoothness, but the dynamic degree is very low for Cloth Video X, and that's why Cloth Video X 2B are really, really low quality. We tested that back then, and 5B, which is, of course, better. So hopefully they have something that looks better in Pyramid Flow. See, the quality score is on top of everyone here at 84.74. Hopefully this kind of benchmarking is accurate. If they're telling the truth and this is what it is, 
then that will be really awesome. If this is just hype and they're trying to manipulate data to pass this benchmark quality score, then that's going to be kind of messed up. So we'll see how that goes. And hopefully there will be some open source servers available rather than just hugging face. This is kind of jammed right now, so we'll see how that goes. And maybe we'll have to run it on a cloud GPU like RunPod or any private servers you have for GPU computing. Because for these AI models, currently, they mention in the GitHub project page the requirements, although the author of this AI model doesn't really measure the requirements. But based on what's said, they're using an 80 gigabyte GPU, which is the Aeon 100 that they're using for training these models and maybe trying to do some test runs with these AI models. So the 384P versions, which are the lower res versions of these AI models, require 26 GB of VRAM to run. And the 768P versions, the higher resolution ones, require 40 GB of memory to run. Of course, they don't have exact numbers, but maybe they're based on their performance monitoring. Meanwhile, as they're testing, they see that kind of VRAM memory consumption with these two AI models. So yes, that's the sad news that we can't run this on any local GPU. Even if you've got an NVIDIA RTX 4090 24 gigabytes of VRAM, and it can't even run the 384p versions of these AI models. We have to face the truth, but hopefully their team can optimize the memory issue and make it for a lower VRM requirement, or maybe a GUF quantization of this model for consumer local PC. So that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.